Hello and welcome to Word TV. I'm Anastasia Tabanos. Word TV recently spoke to some of our industry experts and asked them about the biggest differences between the North American and European hosting markets. Well, I think um, Europe's an interesting place because each country is different. So Germany has its own set of dynamics, France has a set of dynamics, Italy has its own set of dynamics, the UK is different. I think with Germany, seeing that we're in Germany, um, what you find is a lot of, uh, of uh, low price kind of pressure. There's this downward pressure on pricing. The price in general for web hosting is cheaper than it is in the US. And so that means hosters need to be more competitive. They need to have better systems in place, more automated, so that they can drive those costs out of their business and compete at a lower price point. I think the uh, US market is characterized as one big market versus the European market is characterized as a big market that's divided into smaller segments because of the differences in regulations, differences in languages, uh, differences in the kind of end customer requirements for services and platforms. So there is differences and that brings challenges for the service providers in Europe uh, compared to service providers in, in the US. The service providers in Europe are more localized versus service providers in, U in, in the US serve the whole country and sometimes more international as well. Yeah, that's actually very hard to say because um, Europe is divided into different uh, segmented areas and um, hosting in each country is very different. It differentiates in, in certain facts. One, one of the facts is bandwidth, the other is the prices for the domains. And then it's also the education of the market itself. Um, here in Germany we have a special case that the market is very well educated um, because of companies like One and One and Strato who did a lot of advertisement and uh, education marketing wise to establish hosting as, a, as an industry. And so we have, I would say, a very special momentum here right now that you can see that actually in the number of domains which are hosted in Germany, it should be right now, including the e-comnet.org, it should be around 15 million domains and the population is 80 million. In regard to web hosting, the European and the US market differs in one very important point. It's the pressure of price. I think if you look at the German market, there's no other hosting market in the world with such low prices for hosting. For example, you can buy a fully featured web space with a domain, PHP, MySQL, everything, for less than one euro per month. For a dedicated server, you know, we with Intergenia and our brand server for you, we rent an AMD Opteron 144 with one gig of RAM, eight gigs of hard, two 80 gig hard disks, and um, a 500 gig bandwidth allowance. We sell that for 44 euro. So the price level in Germany is way, way lower than in the US. And this makes it, this makes it necessary for us to have a very high level of automation because there's no way we can compete at these prices if we don't do everything automated. And so I think the processes of hosting are much more automated and much more designed than they are outside of Europe.